Whether you want to charge your cell phone, use your computer or switch on the lights, what you need is electricity. Even if you decide to escape the modern world, you can't escape electricity. What do you think is lightning during a thunderstorm? Electricity, that's right. But the important question is, what exactly is electricity? How does it flow in an electric circuit? Why does the bulb light up when the switch is on? To understand this, we need to dive a bit deeper right down to the concept of atoms. What are atoms? They are the most basic building blocks of matter. Atoms make up molecules and many molecules together make up a cell which is the fundamental unit of life. And do you know what the building blocks of atoms are? They are protons, neutrons and electrons. The protons and the neutrons are densely packed in the nucleus and the electrons orbit around the nucleus. Do you know the charge carried by these three? Protons are positively charged, electrons are negatively charged and the neutrons, as the name suggests, are neutral and have no charge. Electricity is nothing but flowing charges. Which charges do you think I'm talking about? The protons or electrons? Look at the words electricity and electron. Do you notice a common thing between them? Yes, it's the flow of electrons that's important to understanding electricity. Flow of electrons. Do I mean electrons flowing in their existing orbits? Not really. I'm talking about electrons moving from one atom to the other and so on. Yes, this flow of electrons is what constitutes electricity. The charges are constantly flowing. It's also known as current electricity. But why do charges flow? Why does the electron from one atom move to the orbit of another? To understand that, we need to understand the concept of electrostatic force. In simple words, it is the force that operates between charges and most of us already know it. Opposites attract and likes repel. The structure of an atom is the perfect way to understand this. It has various orbits which have electrons in it. The charge of protons is what keeps the electrons glued to the atom. And logically, we know that the electrons closer to the nucleus are more stronger attracted to the center as compared to the electrons in the outer orbits. But also note that electrons will repel electrons. Now look at this animation. When a negative charge from the left is close to the first atom, it repels the electron in the outermost orbit. Because of the repelling force, the electron may eject the orbit and become a free electron. Now this free electron may get pulled to the orbit of a new atom. And then the electron of the new atom gets repelled by the charge of this new electron and ejects the orbit to move to a new atom. And this process continues to form a continuous flow of electric charge. This is nothing but electric current or current electricity. It's simply the constant flow of electric charge. There can be many questions bothering you now. Is the direction of electricity as the direction of flow of electric charge? What does the flow depend on? What causes the flow to begin? And many more. We will answer all these questions in the coming videos.